But let's jump in to the next game of the round. It's coming at you from Four Pines Park, 5.30 oh. Saturday afternoon. You've got the Manly Seagulls, the Gold Coast Titans. It's set to be an absolute cracker. A man that wasn't Manly taking on the Queensland number seven. Let's look at that lineup. You've got Tom Trebojevic, who is named carrying an injury. We'll see if he makes the lineup. You've got Jason Saab, Ruben Garrick, Morgan Harper, Christian Tuvalutu, Cooper John, Daly Cherry Evans, Tanilla Paseka, Lachlan Croker, Jerbo, H.O., Kelma Talagi, Josh Alawai, Carl Lawton, Ethan Bullimore, Sean Kepi, Toa Fafoa Sipley, Aaron Woods, K.O. Weeks, Samuela Fainu, Morgan Boyle, and Ben Condon in the 22 jersey. So, like I said, Trebojevic, I'd say he's 50-50. He had that groin injury. There was rumours coming around. If he somehow plays and he somehow gets for the match, that is a massive tick for New South Wales Origin fans. But obviously, Tua Palotu does return from a knee injury. Ruben Garrick moves back into the centres to replace Brad, Brad Parker, who is injured. And obviously, Cooper Johns takes over from... I feel like I've got to call him Josh Schuster to tampon because he's in for one week, out for four. But Josh Schuster is out of this game again. Um, Kel Matalagi returns from the concussion, which means Elfin Bollamore goes to the bench. Um, and obviously, Kyle Lawton with his shoulder injuries also named on the bench to return. So a lot of changes. You've still got Aaron Woods, who is a absolute veteran of the game. He's probably not at his best, but he is still a veteran. He is in the 18th man. What do you make of this squad? Um, it's a it's a it's a really weird one because um, from this is my opinion. This is no report. There's no one telling me. I don't think Tom Tom makes it out on the field this weekend. I think um, if if that's the case, they put probably Ruben Garrick back at fullback and they bring in um, Keanu Weeks into the centers, or they just just do a Keanu Sweek straight to fullback and leave Ruben Garrick out in the oh, center. You've got about ninety nine percent chance of that is what happens. If I'm being completely honest, I, I just think it's it's the week to do it. Like, there's no real rush on this week. Resting this week, Tio feels in training next week. If he's all right to play against the Broncos at uh, Magic Ground, well then play him. If not, rest him and then see where he falls on. on, on after Magic Round, but um, you said Schuster. You want to know how much he's on this year? He's on $800,000 this year. He gets an upgrade next year. Surely that's back-ended, though. Surely that, that's, that's got to be back-ended. I think, I think it is, just to fit in a couple other players. But, like, good on his management for getting that deal, but boy, this play can't even get on the park. To, like, we, he's getting 850. He deserves to give 800,000 of that to his manager. No, I don't he, think, he, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's 850. I think it's more. I think it's like nine. Well, they deserve at least 800 of that. And oh, he can that's, live what, on the that's, other what that's, what, that's what I'm hearing. He's on nine next year, but it's ridiculous. And this, like, I keep saying this bloke is a, they, they signed him as a six to be the future six after Kieran Foran, and I think it's, this is this is one of these deals that has just gone sideways, and it's just he he's just injured, and he you can't you can't even like uh, okay play reserve um, for the Blacktown Workers um, Club, uh, the feeder club for New South Wales Cup. Like you can't even do that. He has to sit on the sidelines and just really rest it out. And you know what, rest. Just sit on the sideline for two, three weeks. Get get your body back in shape. Don't overdo it. And then just come back and just, like, don't rush into first grade, but just go play New South Wales Cup. Go see how you feel, you know, because, you know, if you go play New South Wales Cup and, you, and you're not okay, well, then you know you just need to pull it back a little bit and you're not really destroying this um, first grade squad. So, um. I think you touched on it well. He is a tampon, in for one, out for four. It's good to see. But Cooper Johns does make his uh, his name appear on the team sheet again at six. I think he's going to be great. Josh Alloway um, is good. Maybe Jake Tvorovic starts teaching the boys how to do origami folding. And, um, man, he's going to fold blokes this weekend, I reckon. Yeah, it's, it's a strong lineup. Like you said, I think the logical... The logical response is that Gary does get a fullback if Turbo doesn't get out there, which 
like I said, the way he walked off last week, I, I don't I don't see him play, and I don't think it's smart from a manly perspective with the injuries he's had to put him back out there. And I think if Turbo does want to have that chance, that chance to play Origin this year, he's not playing this game. He's not risking it this close. But obviously, given Anzac, given the short turnarounds, it was hard to obviously name a squad so quickly. So keep an eye on that. I expect him to drop out. Like you said, KO Weeks to come in, Garrick to go into fullback is the logical options. I think Cooper Johns has a massive chance to cement his position in at number six. Every single time he's come in there, I think bar one, he's done an absolute cracking job. Mm. So mm. fingers crossed he keeps going. He does have a very, very big name to live up to, but let's just hope he can continue to make everyone proud at Manly and obviously the Johns family name continues. But let's move into the Titans. You've got AJ Brimson, Carm Pereira, Brian Kelly, Jojo Fafita, Philip Sammy, Kieran Foran, Tanner Boyd, Moeka Fatuaki, Chris Randall, Big Tino, David Fafito, uh, David Fafita, Joe Stimson, Isaac Liu, Jaden Campbell, Aaron Clark, Clessie Hass, Joe Vuna, Cruz Lemon in the 18th. Man, with the extended bench of Aaron Shook, Tom Weaver, Thomas Micaeli, and Sam McIntyre. So, obviously, the big ones. Fafita is named in the centers, little Jojo. You've then got Philip Sammy on the win. So, that's a positional switch from round eight. They've swapped positions. Um, I don't know about this side. Every week I want to say the Titans are here. They're going to put in the performance. And last week I went, holy shit, they're up 26 and against the Dolphins. They're going to put 50 on them. And they fucking lost the game. So I've heard I've heard uh, rumours, Josh. I don't know if you've heard this, but uh, uh, here we go. they're putting in a complaint to the NRL that they want the Auckland Nines back because they can't last more than 18 minutes. So I don't know who's making up that rumour, but it's definitely out there. They're definitely struggling to get through uh, there. But it's the Simpsons meme. They're, they're, they're resting on the couch. It's 2016 at halftime, and Marge comes in and goes, you know you got a second half to play at football, and, mate, they're already on the t- they're already on the piss on the, in the town, and they're, they're having a bar. But um, what it does for a confident a confidence level, um, it's going to hit you for six plus more to be up 26-0 and then to lose. Um, uh, to tell anybody you're going to be – 26 nil, roughly, you know, let's just say 35 minutes inside 35 minutes. You'd probably say that that's a win, that's a win for sure. Um, but to lose, as I said, it's going to hit you for your confidence level for six plus more. And um, I have Manly winning this one to 12. N- not the fact that Manly can get it over, uh, like get it over at nitty gritty. Um, Tiger side, which was pr- pretty woeful to see. Um, I think it's just more so that the Titans players, I think, will their confidence level will be down, and they'll, they'll get they'll get ran over this weekend. Um, but you know, they might turn it around and they might switch it up a bit, and you know, forget about last week and come out all guns blazing. So, as I said, I'm going to stick with Manly to one twelve here. You know what, Form Pines Park, it's an absolute shit place to go to. I think half the Manly side doesn't want to go there sometimes. So well, it's it's definitely an interesting one. The only fans that like it are Manly. Everyone else absolutely hates going to that stadium. But I look at this Titan side and they, they've got talent. Like AJ Brimson, he's done brilliant. It means Jaden Campbell can go to 14. He comes off the bench. He's going to be explosive. You've got Fafida. You've got Tino. Like you've got Kieran Foran with the experience. You've got the youth in Tanner. They've just got they've got a really strong squad. I think what they're missing, and Chris Randall, don't get me wrong, has done a great job. I think they really are missing Sam Verrills. Um, how they started the season with him in there, and I think he he gets overlooked because he's not a top four hooker, if you want to put it that way. But a lot of people overlook Sam Verrills and what he can do to a squad. And I just think if you had Sam Verrills fully fit without that broken collarbone in this squad. They don't lose last week. He controls the game. He's got the experience. He's won a grand final. He gets in there. He controls the game where I don't think Kieran Foran can do that by himself. So I am going to side with you. And you know what? The more we side with each other, the more you say the predictions are already in my head. I'm ahead. So it means I can't lose. So I'm not really going to complain in the end of the year. But I am going to go Manly 1-12. to Not because I don't think Manly can win this game 13+. plus. I have an issue if they can defend this tight inside that can show they can score points. They had an absolute shootout against Melbourne. They got across the line. They had a shootout against the Dolphins. 
they didn't get across the line, but each time they've scored over 24 points. So one to 12 Manly, one to 12 Manly. We keep 